You've been pestering me for them. Post patch custom tactics. Where I'm at in terms of my FIFA 22 custom tactics and player instructions, I'm about to break them down for you guys. Three men, three men around him, and somehow find some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Display there. Absolutely ridiculous. The on the goal line. On the goal line. The as you can see, this is the squad. Very, very tidy squad indeed for an RTG. Very happy with how we progressed this year in terms of what we've been able to achieve and the players we've been able to obviously acquire. But lads, the custom tactics what you guys are here for. Indeed for our balanced formation, it doesn't matter too much. I'm always switching to either an ultra defensive, defensive, attacking or ultra attacking formation. But this is where I'm starting off. Okay, I'm starting off with quite a high depth so that I can be high up the pitch and not be counted or at least be pinned down in my own 18 yard bots. That's very important. And of course, lads, we then have width at around 52. We have width at around 50. It doesn't matter too much from kickoff because obviously I'm going to switch my formation instantly, so it doesn't matter. But uh, moving on into my ultra defensive, this is actually standard. This is actually similar to the standard starting formation. I don't actually use the ultra defensive custom tactic, lads. If I want to switch to anything more specific other than the three formations that I have as my primary formations and the 4231 2, the 424, or the 422, then I'll just pause it and change it. That is quite standard. With the defensive one though, I have the 4231. Width is at 52, depth is at 60, fast build up, balanced 50. I have seven. Okay, players in the bots with corners on two and free kits on four. This formation I'm not actually using currently, lads. I would maybe use this to close out a game, but I prefer the four triple two anyway, which is my main formation because they're you know out wide. You have width with that formation. The wingers, the wing bats, everyone is there, lads. You've got two strikers to do. Find the feet of, and of course. You know, getting away from the press is quite useful with that formation. The 4231, however, second variation is a good shout for you guys, and this is what I'd recommend you using. Maybe dropping the width down to around 45 for both attacking and defense, only because of that latest patch, the fine tune of where there is more space in between the center bats. Right? So we can minimize that by putting the depth to around 40 to 45. I'm gonna keep it at 45 for you boys. And that is my defensive formation, 424. Now this is what I use personally if I'm wanting to get back into a game. The reason being is because you actually compare this to the 4222. As you can see, if it was to look at this formation, the two wingers are higher up compared to the 4222, where they're a little bit deeper. Same as the CDMs. There's no CDMs with the 424, it's two CMs, so they're higher up. I'm gonna compare it to the 4222, as you can see with this formation. The cams are deeper, the CDMs are deeper. This is a very good starting formation because it's attacking, but it's also defensive in nature. Okay, if I go to the 424 though, what I'm using is balanced 50 width, depth is 65, fast build up, balanced 55 for my offensive width. Again, it's seven players in the box. I've got two for corners and three kids is on four. Now this, again, I'm not using too much. I only have to get back into a game and usually I would actually switch this in game to constant pressure so that I can get as much pressure on my opponent. I don't want him to breathe. I don't want him to have time on the ball. So constant pressure is good for that. But then depth as well, I might have this up to around 75 in game so I can try and put pressure onto him. Width again, I would stick and keep this to around 45 just because, of course, lads, you have to minimize the space in between the defenders, which EA have indeed patched. There's less chance of you being able to block the shot, which I like, I do like. It makes defending harder though, and I'm able to adapt to it. I know a lot of you guys are struggling though, but that's why I did a post-patch defending tutorial, lads. So go and check that out if you haven't already. The main formation though, what I'm using, game in, game out, every single time, is the four triple two. Now balanced is my defensive style only because I don't want my players going off and pressing my opponent and losing stamina too early. Balanced is very good for me because I manually defend. I don't rely on the AI and I recommend you guys do the same. You manually defend, you right stick sweep, and you position your players multiple times at once so that you can try and obviously pressure the opponent and not rely on the AI to do it for you. If you rely on the AI to do it for you, you won't always know where your players are because the AI defenders will be pushed up and in weird positions. So you won't know where they are. So keep it on balance, lads. Learn how to manually defend and you will benefit in the long run. Width, again, on 45. I did explain this, lads. There's more space in between the defenders, as we know. So we need to minimize that. 
by having the width to around 40 to 45, but I have it at 45 because I'm confident enough that I can cover that space in the 18 yard bots. Obviously defense, then we have 65 for the depth. Now this you could have on 70, I have it on 65, just so I don't have too many players for and I have enough players forward with actually players in the bot. So depth is on 65 lads so that I can try and get up and pressure the opponent when I need to. You have it too low, your players will be set back too deep and you're not able to actually press him as much as you could if you were higher up. So I have this on 65. I have fast build up on my build up play and that's because I like to get up the pitch quite quickly but up the wing. I will take my time but I won't rush it. Okay, But it just allows me to get up there as quick as I can. As quick as I actually manually could without relying on any type of rushed pass or any type of through ball that will lose me the ball. I keep the ball, I keep possession, I switch the player by need, but I'll do it quite quickly and I'll build it up quite quickly to try and get up to the opponent's half as quick as I can and then I'll keep it in that area until I find the pass is central to of course find those sweaty goal scoring opportunity. Chance creation is on balance. Again, I don't want my players going in different positions. You know, if I was to have it on possession, they'd be going into space to receive the ball. I don't want them to do that. I want them to be in the position that they're actually in with the four triple two. Forward runs again, they push forward. They won't always be back. Direct passing, they come towards the ball. I don't want that. I'll manually do that if I want to. So I'll call them towards me with R1. I'll make a make a run with L1. I don't rely on the AI to do it for me so that I know where the players are at all times. Width is on 55 lads, that's because I like to have a little bit more width in my attack as I'm going forward to drag the defence out to the wing to open the space in the middle. And we know with that patch there's more space in the centre of the 18 yard bots so I can exploit that more. Plays in the bots again is on 7 lads, I like 7 because it's balanced, I find there's not many too many forward but there's also not too many back, you have enough options going forward. Corners on 2, free kits on 4 lads, that's my custom tactic. I'm going to move into the instructions for the 4222 because this is my main formation. And again, with the 424 and the 4231, they will be a similar concept in terms of my player instructions for this formation. And what I mean by that is the two strikers will be the same in the 424, wingers will be the same, the CDMs, the CMs will be the same comparing to the 424 and the 4231. They'll be the same instructions. So bear that in mind. For Akadi, I've got him on mid attack, and the reason why is because I have him coming towards the ball to give myself an option when I don't have one from the wing. This is quite important so I can keep possession, keep the ball, basically drag defenders out of their position. And Akadi also drops into a little bit of space that I can find a pass into him as well when I'm playing it on the wing and looking for a pass central, which I really like about him. And it's exactly why he stays in the team, because of his work rates and the way that he makes runs. People judge me for using Akadi, but I'm still using him because he works. So why not? Vape lads is on getting behind. Use your fastest striker to get him behind. You want him making those runs, okay? And, and Vape, of course, is the fastest out of the two. And of course, I find he's a lot better getting in behind compared to Akadi, who's better at holding up the ball. Messi, again, is on stick to position, balanced, basic defense support, normal interception. So these are on default. Then nothing's changed. That's same as your 424 and your 4231. You want them to be on default. De Bruyne and Kante, both on stay back. Can't stress you enough how this is important and also cover center. Switch it from cover wing to cover center. You want them in the center, lads, to cover as much space central as they can and stay back while attacking is very important for these two. The same with the 424, have them on stay back while attacking for your CMs as well as your 4231. The other ones that I've changed is the wing bats. Obviously they're on stay back while attacking, lads, and they're not on overlap. This is a common mistake I see with people in terms of the current you know, custom tactics, they have overlap set on their wing bats, but when you think about it, it contradicts the whole attacking runs setting. If you have it on stay back while attacking, yet you're wanting them to make overlapping runs, it doesn't make sense. Pick one lads. I recommend stay back while attacking though, so that you have more plays back when you are conceding from a counter attack. Of course lads, Van der Sar is on balance. That's my player instructions for formations and custom tactics for my current set up in FIFA 22. I hope you enjoyed this video, lad. As always, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching on patreon.com. Links are all in the description down below, lad. I'm also doing tutorials on Instagram and TikTok. Go and check them out. Okay, links are still in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Sign Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye.